I'm gonna show you exactly how these new rate scribe updates is gonna help you use AI for auto blogging so you can set up a 100% AI affiliate website or any other blog. All right, so first things first, let's talk about AI content evasion. So let's say you are an SEO business, you create something like this. Many uh, tools out there do not pass copy leaks and I'm happy to say after a lot of work, I finally got rate scribe to pass. You know, a lot of times for SEO right now, the current thinking is is, hey, it's not really that important to evade AI detectors completely. Uh, but I would argue that it is very important, even though the guidelines say AI content, you know, is not going to be penalized uh, as long as you follow double EAT. But the thing is that big companies like Google change their mind a lot. So you don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars creating, you know, thousands of articles um, and have it be really good in the short term. But then it's not evergreen because if they change their mind and start penalizing and give the famous Google slap to all AI generated articles, then you have a bunch of articles that you need to rewrite. So why do it twice is sort of my philosophy with RateScribe. If the whole internet is just going to be recycled content that's AI generated, the supply demand curve for original human content is gonna be extremely valuable. All right, so the second part of the update is Intentful H2. What does that mean? It means that if you are writing, let's say a how-to article, like how to bake a chocolate cake, the H2s are gonna be step one, you know, and then, you know, next do this and then finally do that or like step one, step two, step three, step four, if it's more involved. And this hints to the crawlers that your X2s are actually aligned with the intent of the search keyword. In this case, how to bake a chocolate cake. And that's very important because if you say how to bake a chocolate cake, but none of your headings are actually outlining exactly, hey, this is step one, step two, step three, then it's gonna not be as competitive as something that is more refined like this. And it detects, you know, how to article as well as listicles. Um, so that's the Intentful H2 update, uh, which uh, are kind of like a tiny little detail, but it's the little edges that compound that make your article very well SEO'd. But that's not even close to <laughs> the huge update has done. Okay, so another upgrade I'm super excited about is bypassing one of the biggest limitations of language models, which is accessing the internet. Uh, so for example, we saw this course on TikTok. Let's say the application is I wanted to talk about this, drive traffic to my website, and if people sign up, I get a commission for it, basically as an affiliate marketer. Uh, here, I didn't need to prompt RateScribe any links or any specific places to do research. All I did was I just give it a topic and it'll automatically in the background do all the research for me and compile all that data into an article. Here, it includes an external link and goes here to this eBizFax. It also gets all the other numerical information. So for example, you know, uh, it looks at a bunch of other websites and sees that, hey, there's a reasonable price tag of $99, but there's an upsell of 15K plus. If we look at one of the source websites, you know, we see where it gets its information from $99 for the accelerator. Yep, and $39 for the business launch, which it also gets from here. Uh, so as you can see, this will save you a bunch of time in research um, and all you need to do to throw out an affiliate marketing article is just to prompt it the topic. So that's super exciting. It's great if you want to use, you know, a 100% AI affiliate website, but uh, it goes further than that, right? The implications of a web enabled uh, blog writer. And the implication is that you can actually do news articles. So here is a news article, for example, and this definitely GPT does not know about uh, this conflict, at least not 2023 updates. And here it, you know, does a lot of um, external sources and quotes a lot more things because the AI actually knows that it's more of a recent events thing. So the truth is a lot more sensitive. So it tries to get a lot more sources uh, to back up its text. Uh, but you might think, wait a second, if all the data compiled in this article is gotten from external web research, wouldn't there be plagiarism? And the answer is no, I scanned the article here and while originality.ai gave it a 3% AI, if we look at the plagiarism is actually 0% plagiarism. That's super duper exciting. Um, can't wait for y'all to try this. But 
that's not all. Okay, so the next update I want to talk about is the creation of flowcharts. So let's say you want to talk about something that's a little bit more complicated. So if you want, uh, you can turn on chart generation and it's going to create this chart. People might read the article, skim it, get a little bit of information and then sort of reinforce their understanding when they go into here. And this is also another great opportunity for you to enter uh, some alt text, right? And looking at images like this, you know, is going to decrease their bounce rate because they're going to take a look, they're going to spend more time on your website and your Google Analytics will pick it up. So your session lengths are going to be a little bit longer. Another thing I added on top of that with this upgrade is there are tables now. So for example, it's uh, talking about advantages and challenges of Agile. Yeah, I'm very excited because uh, a lot of this kind of combined really compounds the SEO. Okay, and lastly is this key takeaways portion. And search engines love when you get straight to the point and they love key takeaway sections. This combines the best of both worlds and takes the key takeaways and puts it in the intro section. And the other part that's new is that our articles come with FAQ sections now. One, it allows you to inject more keywords uh, that you're trying to optimize for in the FAQ. And two, search engines really like it because it gives you a chance to take up more real estate in the search results. So the search results can, you know, have like these snippets where you have like questions and answers. But right now the FAQ is just like an FAQ, which will help significantly with SEO. The cherry on top, which is that it'll, um, inject an FAQ schema so that, you know, Google knows when it looks at your article that there is an FAQ on the page is coming soon. One more update I really wanted to talk about is this UI update while the article's writing. So as you can see here, it's showing you like all these search results during the research phase and that, you know, it's actually going to be visiting all these websites. Um, and then the right pipeline, you can see a bunch of other things. So this is just a way to make the whole writing process more transparent and you can see exactly what's going on. It also doubles as a debugging thing because if anything crashes, you can just send me a screenshot and um, I can probably narrow down the issue a lot quicker now that there's a lot more information. But yeah, so here's all the updates and I hope this was uh, helpful uh, for kind of understanding what the new things are Rayscribe and how it might be able to help you to do auto blogging, especially with the external website feature where you might want to do an affiliate website where you sort of need web access and research to understand products and things like that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.